Next, we'll take a look at drawing the heart shape. So I'm going to hold down the space bar to pan and get a nice clear view of that pencil sketch of the heart right in the middle of my image window. And then this time I'm going to choose not the pen tool, but the tool immediately underneath it called the curvature tool, which is ideal for situations like this, because, you know, on the face of it, a heart shape looks fairly simple, but actually it's quite tricky to draw something like this because of the long sweeping curves. And that's where the curvature tool makes that process much easier. Having picked up the tool, I'm going to go across the properties panel. Again, make sure that my fill is set to none, hit the return key and set the stroke to be black, hit return and that the stroke weight is set to one point. Now in this scenario, the actual mouse uh, gestures are exactly the same as what we've just looked at to create the tent, oddly enough. So I'll start right at the top where the peak uh, here is and the uh, of the heart shape and left click and let go of the mouse. So holding nothing down, it's just a left click of the mouse as before. I'm going to hover my cursor away. This time you'll notice that there is no preview of what the path shape will be, not at least until you've clicked a second time. So from here, uh, I'm going to hover my cursor in this sort of region just here and then left click and let go of the mouse. And you might notice then that that is a straight line, which seems to make no sense whatsoever. You know, this is called the curvature tool. Where are the curves? So again, making sure that you hold nothing down, just glide your cursor away from that region. And you'll see now that actually those points are fulcrums for curvature to run through them. Depending where you hover your cursor, moving up and down will bend and bow the path according to what you need. So now that we've got those two curvature nodes added, then hover your cursor a little bit lower down. Around about here, I would say, is probably the next best place to add that. You're going to have to accept as well that you're not going to get your path looking exactly as you wish right from the start. You'll have to fine tune it afterwards. So hovering my cursor just here, I'll left click and let go of the mouse. And then from here, well, I've got a very fine point at the bottom. I don't want this to be curved. So if you want to create a corner point, hold down the Alt or the Option key and Alt and left click, and that adds a corner point down there. I'll then hover my cursor away, not holding anything down, and then I'll add my fifth point, just matching where the previous one was on the opposite side. We're kind of creating a mirrored version of this now. Uh, I'll left click, let go of the mouse, and then come back up to the top, left click and let go here, and then finally, notice that that would be the appearance if I just left clicked in the final node in there. But if I hold down the Alt or the Option key, you'll notice now that it gives us the effect of a corner point. So Alt or Option and left click, and that finishes off the path. Next, we'll take a look at how we can modify these curvature points.